preeminence, he who knows all. <laughs> <laughs> He's speaking some kind of foreign language, man. I think it's Orkin. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh. Zimski tivu ha ha. What's he saying? I was hoping you'd know. Does he speak English? I'll ask him. Do you speak English? <laughs> Say habla de nero. I can speak any language I choose. Oh. Look, I don't get it. You said somebody very old was coming. How old are you? Seven microbleens. Or in Earth years. Beep, 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 boop. 86. 86? But he looks like a 10 year old kid. Well, you see, on Orc, the aging process is reversed. It's kind of like Dick Clark. <laughs> you see, we are born in a test tube. Fully grown, gray-haired, and wrinkled. That way, we are treated with respect from day one. And baby shoe bronzing is really expensive. <laughs> now, as you grow older, we start to look younger. We get smaller and cuter, and that way all the people want to keep their old folks at home. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. In a weird sort of way. Let's get on with the training. <laughs> <laughs> According to the meter, you're only 17% Orkin. Mork, if you are not a full Orkin by the time I'm finished here, you will be ostracized. Oh, no. The disgrace, the shame, and the shonda of it all. <laughs> to be purple, to be purple in winter, too. Purple doesn't go well with goosebumps. <laughs> Is, is there anything I, I can do to help? You've done enough, culture sapper. Go away. What? Wait a minute, Buster. This is my house. Who do you think you are? My name is... <laughs> I beg your pardon. Uh, I think he said his name was... <laughs> what a rude planet. You've turned him into an earthling. Now leave us alone so I can put the orc back in Mork. Oh, she meant no harm, Your Eminence. She robbed us of an orkin. Oh, Mork is right. I guess I have done enough already. I'll just go back and wait in the room. Good oh, luck. Oh, big kiss. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I feel really bad for her, sir. Orkins do not have feelings, infidel. Now we shall begin with something basic. Hit your head against that wall. Right. Oh. I do not know any Libyans, and I have not yet cashed the check. Oh. How did I do? Incorrect. You did not say Shazbot. Oh. Again. <laughs> Shazbot. Ha, ha, ha. I would have lost. It was my thyroid. <laughs> Wrong. Huh? Pain first. Shazbot second. I can see why you're the elder. <laughs> Again. Shazbot. Oh, let's move Laverne and Shirley to Thursday night, okay? <laughs> Really, another orphan up there? Yeah. Oh, Dad, it's crazy. They've been unloading a whole fleet of cargo eggs and taking strange looking stuff into the attic. You're living with two orphans? Oh, Dad, if Mork fails his orphan training, I'll never forgive myself. He'll make it, honey. He's doing it for you. You watch. Soon he'll be the same fella used to lie on the lawn shampooing caterpillars. <laughs> I just feel so helpless. And he's going through so much, and I can't even be up there with him. Why not? Because that old coot won't let me. Well, honey, if Mort needs you, maybe you should be up there to help him. Well, yeah. But I feel like an intruder in my own house. And, and, and who knows what's even arriving in those eggs? You sound like you're a little scared. 
I am, but, but I'm scared for Mark, not for me. I mean, he just might fail that test. Well, it, it never hurts to bring an apple to the teacher, if you know what I mean. Yeah. If you want me to, I'll go up there with you. No. No, thanks, Dad. He's my alien. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, well, I guess I can go then. All right, now look. If you need me, I'll be home hiding under the bed. <laughs> Humor. Ar, 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 ar. It's a pure Orkin environment up there, and you're not going to spoil it. Listen, uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> See, you and I have got to have a little talk. Now, I care about Mork, and I want him to be Orkin again just as badly as you do. I mean, I think, uh, Orkins are great. They're terrific. But you just gotta let me help them. Do you understand? Oh. <laughs> Pardon me. I can't take this excitement. I'm not a young man anymore. All right, you may go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but you must not contaminate what we have up there with your earthliness. Put this on. <laughs> Is this gonna fit me? One size fits all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll be back up, um, putting it on. Up the stairs, down the stairs. This planet's rough on old people. Oh, hello. You must be one of Mark's little friends from the daycare center. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Listen, you little... Leave here at once. This is no place for children. What are you, a wise guy? Very. How'd you like to go for a ride in my Cuisinart? <laughs> Um, um, Mr. Bigley? Listen, I came up here to complain about the noise. Can't you play dress up a little more quietly? Where'd you get your outfits? Frederick of Mars? They're cute at that age. Let us go. But I must warn you, your upper level has been transformed into a world no Earthling has ever seen before. What's happening, my man? Looking good. I don't believe this place. Quiet. He's on the nano machine. Nano. Nano. Hi, man. Oh, hi, man. Wrong. Nano. Big nano man. <laughs> he's firm, but he's fair. <laughs> Oh, you look good in Orkin Threads. Oh. I didn't know they made him in Cadet. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened to this place? You never even know we were in the attic. Griblich! Griblich? Oh, Griblich means he's on a break, man. Those elders have a tough union. <laughs> well, let me show you around. Oh, it's, it's really uh, fantastic. Oh, shucks. What's that? What's that thing? Oh, that was Orkin Words of Wisdom. It'll come around again. See, here it says, Skriznik kum kush baya. Which means life is like a kush by a. <laughs> Deep, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you a picture of where I grew up. <gasps> you mean this is what Orc looks like? Well, some of it. They tore most of it down to make swamps when they found out the earthquakes were allergic reaction to condominiums. <laughs> it's even prettier in the fall. It comes so quickly, too. <laughs> you too. There it goes. <laughs> Well, the artist is really fantastic. You should, you should see one of his sunsets. Here comes one now. Oh. Listen, men. Crickets. Those are the three moons of Orc. Lumpy, Squeezy, and Jojo. Oh, Mork, are all these 
things helping you to become more orc-like? Oh, they sure are. They all remind me of things back home, especially my pet, Naga Chomp. Naga Chomp? Well, Naga Chomp's uh, number one pet on orc, even more popular than Cocker Frankel's. <laughs> Mine's the cutest little one of all. Here, let me call him. Bebo! Come here, boy. I think he likes you, man. Yeah, as a friend or a munchie. Oh, no, no, don't worry, hon. They only eat hair and rugs. That's why political candidates on Orc have to be real careful. Uh, well, uh, call him off. Oh, okay. Here, Bebo. <laughs> oh, I don't know whether he's coming or going most time. Oh, oh, he's gonna dance with me. <laughs> oh, I missed you, boy. I missed you. Oh, it's a boy? I don't know. I've never had the nerve to turn him over. <laughs> uh, yes, Your Eminence? Flush, no! Oh, break's over, man. Take a hike, Bebo. <laughs> Next phase, Sir? you will relearn your Orkin Pledge of Allegiance. Put your hand over your hearts. Oh. <laughs> I, I pledge allegiance to my planet. The rest of the known universe can can it. What was that? Killer Naugahyde. We call it the Sizzler. They probably thought you were Malibu chicken. It was like you were trying to fry me. Oh, well, that's all right. You can only sit down if you have asbestos shorts. Well, you're safe now, though, me. No. Get away from him. But she needs me, sir. Yeah, wait a minute. You're not... Man? Man? She checked out and took the baggage, too. <laughs> you froze her. You're more concerned about her than you are about being an Orkin. It's no use. Your training can't help you. You're going back to Ork now. Oh, no, sir, I, I can't leave, man. You must. Oh, after all these years, you'll never know that I said goodbye. Big kiss. <laughs> Sir, I, I can't leave, man. We'll build you another one. A more advanced model with a power seat. No, 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 sir. See, there'll never be another Mindy. You underestimate technology. Oh, we sir. must go. No, sir, you, you, you don't understand. Mindy's... Blasphemy! An elder understands everything. You young people have no respect. Oh. Oh. I meant no disrespect, your foginess. <laughs> If I can only show you what a Mindy is, I'll kiss your tiny feet through your sensible boots. All right, but be quick about it. See, what's different is that she has qualities that we Arkans don't have. Sometimes she's happy. <laughs> Sometimes she's sad. <laughs> Sometimes she's fun-loving. <laughs> oh, you kid. <laughs> Sometimes she's inquisitive. How did you get your tongue through the keyhole? <laughs> Most of the time, she's caring. She's caring. <laughs> she's really caring. Is something stuck? Yes, sir. Me on Mindy. <laughs> Strange concept. Yet it has such a hold on you. Oh, sir. You see, that's why I've got to be an orphan, sir. So I could stay here with her. I mean, she means more to me than anything in the known universe. I mean, is there anything we can do? There must be something. Well, there is. No, it's far too dangerous. Oh, sir, I'll risk anything. I'd even shave with a live weasel. I haven't done it in many bleams. It's horrendous. It's terrifying. A last resort. I'm too old even to consider it. But maybe with her help. Boop! What happened? With her help, I can possibly do it. Do what? There's a remote possibility that I might be able to pull the Earth spirits from your body with the ritual of the sacred eggs. Oh. <laughs> the ritual of the sacred eggs, man. Oh, gasp, joke. <laughs> Extreme fear. Everything pulses through my body. Men, he's an exorcist. <laughs> Seek a flagoop. Seek a flagoop. In Talatu. 
Hintala too. We gonna see Tadap. Uh, we gonna see Tadap. With this ceremonial egg, I will attempt to remove the earth spirits from his body. I only hope I'm strong enough. Why? What's going to happen? It's not going to be pleasant. <laughs> well, wouldn't you feel more powerful if you were upstairs in your own environment? No. We must fight the earth vibrations off for their most powerful. That's why it's so dangerous. Earth behavior, be gone! Are you all right? Look out here right now. Noise, the name Earth features the game. What do you mean my credit's no good, Lord? <laughs> Your grandma writes bad checks at Macy's. <laughs> The Earth Spirits won't let go of it. I must try harder. Be gone! Oh, oh, something get that thing away from me. Next time you get that near me, there'll be to be pantyhose in there. Whoa. Wow, what are you doing? Wow, you're, not, you're a gnarly little geek, aren't you? Bonjour! 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 No, no, no. Oh, for sure, for sure. Be gone! For sure, for sure. No. Be gone! No, hey, nice to be here in Vegas. Nice to be here in Vegas. Can I do? I don't know what to say. Hey, are you sure you want to go for a ride on my belt? No, come here. I don't know, I don't care. Oh, what would this country be without this great land of ours? I don't know. I'm sorry. All I want is a condominium with a view. A condominium with a view. I shall return. I shall return. I shall return. You can't. They're just tapes. They're just tapes. I don't. I don't. More. It's up to him now. Oh, no. Oh, Mark. Please come back. Mark. Mark. No, 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 no. <gasps> My name is Mark. Oh, <gasps> he's back. The oh, earthly Mark. spirits seem to have left. Oh, oh let me help you out. Oh, you all right? Oh, Min. I had this horrible dream. I dream my head spun all the way around and I spit out Linda Blair. <gasps> Look, your hair's growing. Oh. Oh. I'm back to my roots. I'm back to my <laughs> Oh, thank you, your geezerness. He's just the way he used to be, right? The Oracle meter will tell us that. Oh, no. <laughs> There's no place like home. <laughs> Only 93% Orkin. You failed. Prepare to leave for Ork to be ostracized. Oh, no, it can't be. No, Minji. We cannot question the wisdom of an elder. Can we? No. See? <laughs> Min, something's not the... out of... He said the ritual would be dangerous, and yet he still did it for me. And you did it for me. Oh, and you did that for him. You know, life would be a lot simpler if we were selfish. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can get him to drink some juice. All right. Here. Pardon me, sir. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I forgot. It's all right. Oh, he's not drinking. Uh, maybe I should fix him some soup. No, no, the noodles will get caught in his fingernails. <laughs> What's he saying? What's well, organ for? He'd like a frozen daiquiri and what's your sign? I was about to take Mark away. And you wanted him to stay. Why did you help me? I had to. You, you needed someone. As a wise elder, 
I have never uttered these words before. I don't get it. <laughs> well, it's, it's called caring, Your Eminence. Strong medicine. I think I'm beginning to realize what a Mindy is. Well, at least you understand that, sir. And I'm ready to leave now. You're not a perfect orchid. Fair me. And the rules say I must take you back. <laughs> rules are rules, sir. True. But you are not playing the same game down here. You both taught me that. I don't understand the puzzlement, a sense of disorientation, sir. Perhaps if you were any more Orkin, you'd be of no use as an observer. You'd stick out, like me. You belong here. You mean you can stay? Yes, oh soft-lapped one. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Jubilation, shixilation. Oh, Fern, Fern, I'm back. <laughs> oh, you too. Oh, look at it. I'm back, Jack. <laughs> oh, take it easy, chair. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Your Eminence. <laughs> I like that. Oh, oh um, that was called a hug. Interesting concept. Why don't we have them on Orc? Well, sir, either we're too advanced or we don't want the Baptists to know that we're dancing. <laughs> um. Let us go now in order to catch the next time Orc. Oh. But if I should ever happen to be in the galaxy again, would you mind a visit from an old man? Oh, any time. We, we promise we'll write. As soon as we learn how to spell... <laughs> <laughs> well, Nanu Nanu. Or, as you Earthlings say... Oh. Hi. Oh. Hello, sir. Oh, well, it's nice to have you back, Warp. <laughs> Just Mindy and me. <laughs> and Bebo makes me. More. More. Oh, enjoy them now, Mind. They grow to be a hundred feet high. <laughs> He likes you, me. <laughs> Mark calling Orson. Come in, Orson. Mark calling Orson. Come in, Orson. Come in, your grossness, your fatitude, your inertiveness. Oh, Lord and Master. Oh, how I miss those words, Mark. Ha <laughs> ha, sir, me too. Glad to see you're back. Oh, I'd be glad to see you're back, sir, but your front folds around and covers it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the zinging beans. Music to my ears. His eminence told me what happened. It must have been quite an experience for you. Oh, yes, sir. It was a very heavy philosophical excursion, for sure. <laughs> but basically, sir, after much difficulty, I found the tree of me. Good, Mark. Where did you find it? In the forest of us, sir. And where is the forest of us? Well, down the path of change, where the squirrels of self hide the nuts of inner peace. In other words, Mark, what you're saying is, life is like a kushbaya. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Come on home, Mama. Take anything you need. Basically, sir, I'd like to thank you, Mind, little <laughs> and everyone who made me an orphan again, sir, because that's the way I really want to be. I'm glad to hear that, Mort. Oh, me too, sir, because I learned a very important lesson. You can make your home anywhere in the universe, but it's most comfortable if you furnish it with your own traditions. And I feel best in early Mark. Until next week, sir. Nanu, Nanu. <laughs>